Alright, I got it, I got it back. I'm back now. We got to, we had to Ooh. take a second to change the bag. But uh <coughs> right, we in Revelation, right? You know where we at, bro? Dealing with the chip. Yeah. Yeah, start at verse 9. Alright, this is a uh, revelation. Now, hold on, hold on before you read that. Now this is a box, right? That's what he breaking down. He breaking down the chip, right? And like I said, I'm on HOI. It's deeper than the chip. And I really don't even go on this page. I just, I'm just doing this because I seen the elders on that. You know, I seen the elders uh, bring it out about how he, you know what I'm saying, breaking down the chip wrong. So I said, wait a minute, man. I got to go over there. Man. I got to see what's going on. Because I don't go on this page. You know what I'm saying? I just know who he is. You know, I know he's been out there for a while. But uh, I don't know him personally, but I know, you know what I'm saying, I know he's been out there teaching. But that the box, doing it again, he had his tricks again, dealing with the chip. Now, he breaking down Revelation 14 chapter, so what's going on? And he's saying that it's spiritual, it's not, uh, and it's a philosophy, okay? Which a philosophy means a love of wisdom. That's what the word philosophy means, a love of wisdom. So, read what you got in Revelation 14, bro. All right, this is Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark. Now, the beast in his image, the image is the system. It's the Rome, revived Roman system. The beast is the EU and NATO. And the EU is a financial part of the beast, okay? Which is all connected to the Roman Empire, the revived Roman Empire. Go ahead. And receive his mark in his forehead. And receive his mark in his forehead. Now, when you look up that word mark, it's karagma, man. And then when you look it up in there, it, go, it goes into, when you go deep into it, it deals with karagma. But it also mentions a stake in there. And when you Google image of stake, which y'all can do that on your own time, you see on the end of it, it's pointing. So when John the Revelator on the island of Patmos seen this vision, he seen something that looked like a stake going into people. And I'll tell you what it is so you can understand. What it is is a, uh, a, a large board needle. That's what it is. It's, it's called a large board. Okay? B-O-R-E. It's a large board needle. That's what it is. Okay? Go ahead. Or in his hand, mm -hmm. the same shall drink of the wine of the rev of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture. See? What the box, what the box said is, oh, well, what if you take it and take the chip out? You ain't got it no more. Hey, right, the scriptures, you're not supposed to tempt the most high. Okay? You ain't supposed to test your about you now, Hey, he tell you not to take it or you're going to be destroyed. Bottom line, you can't get around it. Now, you're going to take a board, a, a board, a large board. See, that's what you type in, a large board. No, type in a large, large board, B-O-R-E. So that's a, that's a, uh, what John the Revelator seen on the island of Patmos is a large board, okay? And you don't put, you don't put a, a uh, EMV uh, chip in a phone or in a credit card using a large board, okay? You don't do that. Okay? But like I said, when you look up that word mark there, it goes into the Greek, which it mentions stake, and it also mentions karaga, which it means an incision, man. It's going something that's going into your skin, man. That's what he's talking about. Yeah, a incision goes into a cut. So he's saying that's a philosophy. It means philosophy is a love, it means a love of, of wisdom. And the scripture tell you wickedness is not wisdom. Okay? Then, on top of that, he's saying that 
uh, you already got the chip in your phone. You don't use no large bore needle, okay, to put a chip in the phone, man. You don't do that, man. That's talking about the RFID chip, the microchip, man. So the large bore needle, which the brother just looked it up, he said a large bore, right? Show him what a large bore looked like. Go to Google Image. Google Image, right there. Show them what a large boy looks like. All them. Oh, show them, bro. So that's what John the Revelator on the Isle of Patmos seen. A large board, man. Needle. That's what he seen, man. Yeah, I don't know if y'all seen the video. It was in the puff on Wisconsin. Yeah, they doing the chipping. Yeah, 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 and it was a steak, like you said. Steak, clean, uh, put it in the hand, it'd be like right there. Make access the door. Show them some more images, bro. Yeah. You see it? So that's what he seen, man. Make sure you show them them needles. So that would, that would, that's what, uh, yep, the incision. A cutting, a incision, when you look up the word, uh, in the etymology, the word incision, it means a cutting made in surgery. And that's what you got to go through, uh, when you take that. Uh, chip, they 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 punch a hole in you, and that's what that large bore is designed to do. It's designed to uh, uh, put a hole in you, man, so that's it can suck that chip, man. That's against the law, you know, and that's against the law when you read really Leviticus, the nineteenth chapter, man. And that in that in that uh, 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 where it says, "Do not make any cutting in thy flesh." When you look up that word in the Hebrew, is uh, quite quite, okay, and you can use that for the, uh, in the Hebrew, and uh, for the word Mark, in Revelation 13 and Revelation 14. So you see what you got? So the bot, he going off when he say the RFID chip is spiritual, it's a philosophy. You off, man. You proud, man. That's why you saying what you saying because you're proud, man. You don't want to admit that you're wrong, that you've been wrong all this time, man. And that's what happens when you are, are proud, man. You don't want to uh, correct or come to the conclusion that you're wrong, man. So that pride allow you to keep going then you end up getting destroyed, man. But at the same time, you got people on this comment board saying, no, nah, it's a chip, man. we don't agree with you, Mr. Bach. You know what I'm saying? They saying that, man, we don't agree with you. It's the it's the it's the it's the it's the RFID chip, man. That's the mark of the beast, man. Okay. Invention 1927. That's what you look for. See? Go ahead. I mean, it's, it's like uh, 28. See? Yeah. Well, I, I meant to say 28. I said 27, but it's 28. Go ahead. This is a Leviticus. Chapter 19, verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. When you know with that word mark, it goes into the word uh, quite quite. Okay? So you're not supposed to do that, man. Okay? That's against the law, man. And that's a large board, man. That's what that is, man to make a hole in you, man. Okay? So that's what John the Revelator seen on the island of Patmos. Okay? He, they didn't have them type of uh, uh, large boards back then, those type of needles, man. They got in the day, though. So we understand it through the spirit, man. As Bob can tell you, oh, it's deeper than that. It's deeper than the RFID chip. Man, that's a major prophecy, man. Yeah. Yeah. Our temptation is on this way, man. And through the spirit, hey man, we suffer not to be out here when they forcing it, man. Okay? We suffer not to be out here warning you when they forcing it, man. On you. Okay? Because we warning you now, man. We, we warning you for the future because that's the agenda of Esau, man. You can't forget about 1 Corinthians 2 and 11, man. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices is playing, man. Okay? You can't forget about that, man. 
Okay. Read what you got. Finish that. Yeah, finish that. Read that. Leviticus 19 and 27. I mean 28 again. This is Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. Yeah. No tattoos, none of that. You ain't supposed to do that, man. Okay? If you've done that, or you repent, and you don't do it no more while you're in this truth. That's it. No more. Oh, uh, that's it on that side. Okay, go ahead. I am the Lord. Bottom line. Okay, go back to Revelation, the 14th chapter, and the ninth verse. And also give me Revelation 19 and 20. That's the there too. This is uh, Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead, That's that chip. Go ahead. Or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High. All right, man, you take that chip. You can't take that out of you and say, Oh, well, I took it out of me, and the Most High know my heart. Nah, man. You didn't test the most high, you should be destroyed, man. I wouldn't even play with the most high like that, man. He said don't don't he said don't put any cuttings in you. Don't do it. Okay? Bottom line, man. And then just... here we are, here we are telling you what it is. And you wanna play with the most high? Man, that's man, you ain't coming against us. Uh while we teaching this word. You coming against y'all by some out shot. And you should know that, man. You ain't coming against no brother in Jim, man. You coming against y'all by some out shot, man. But we see it. Okay? Go oh, ahead. Yeah. Which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So you're gonna get the full wrath of the Most High. And that proves when you get hit like that, he don't love you, man. He hates you, because he hits you like that, man. Okay, Revelation 19 and 20. This is a Revelation 19 and 20. Go ahead. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet. The false prophet dealing with the Vatican, you know, this Roman Catholic Church. The Roman Catholic being universal, so it stems to all these fake religions around here. Okay, go ahead. That wrought miracles before him. There are miracles in this technology, man. Whether it goes into the chip or his, uh, his bombs that he's dropping on people. All this technology, man. Go ahead. With which he deceived them that have received the mark of the beast. So what it is is Esau, that's his power. That's Satan's power on the left hand side is deception. So he's going to use deception to cause you two-third Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, to take that chip, man. And he looks like he uses a bark right now. <laughs> according, to, according to what I'm seeing on HOI, Awakening Channel, he's using his bark right now. Okay? He ain't telling you that this the, he ain't telling you the mark of the beast is the chip. He keeps saying it's spiritual. It's the chip, man. You deceive. If you don't think it's a chip, and I'm on your page and I'm looking, man, you off. Bottom line. Come on in. Yeah. And them that worship his image. And them that worship his image. Basically bow down to him and depend on Esau like a dog, hand and foot. Okay? Because that's what you that's what that means when you look it up, man. Okay? It's like you depending on uh Esau, so-called white man, the red Hebrew Edomite for everything, like a dog, man. And you're paying homage to him, which he's Satan, the adversary, and he's a devil, and you letting the Most High know that you were his vessel, Satan vessel, instead of uh, 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 not taking it and believing in Yahweh Shemel Shai, you're going to believe in Esau and take it, man. Saying you want to be his slave forever, man, and the Most High going to destroy you. Go ahead. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. Yeah, so that Roman Catholic Church is going to be destroyed and the people who take the chip going to be destroyed. Okay? 
because it mentioned back up about the false prophet, and the false prophet goes into the Roman Catholic Church. All them pedophiles, man. Whoever a Roman Catholic ought to be embarrassed. Uh -huh. Okay? Ought to be uh -huh. embarrassed, embarrassed how all them uh, cardinals and, and priests sleeping with all them little kids, and they transfer them to other countries and uh -huh. switching them around and stuff, man. All them pedophiles in the Roman Catholic Church, man. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'd be ashamed somebody called themselves a Roman Catholic. Uh -huh. You know? But they ain't because it's Babylon. Okay? They uphold stuff like that because they're contrary to Yahweh Shah, man. Uh -huh. Okay? That's just what it is. Now, office of Bach. Now, I like I was I, I mentioned it but I didn't but I didn't uh I didn't go into detail. Man, I ran into the guy again, man. The guy that told me the kingdom of heaven was gonna be in the North Pole uh -huh. when he quoted Leviticus uh, 111. I said uh I said, uh, you figure it out when I see him. I said, you figure it out. He said, well, he said, I was going to use some more scriptures, but I see you didn't understand it. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's what he hit me with, man. You supposed to break it down for you, then. If All right, that's the case. Here, bro. Leviticus 1 and 11. He said, yeah, you right on the sacrifice before the North Park. You didn't understand it. So that's why I didn't no more scriptures to it. I just bust out laughing, and then I hit him with this. I said, I said, now this is spiritual right here. I said, uh, you gotta remember, we're dealing with the kingdom of heaven, right? Yeah. We're dealing with heaven, in other words. Okay. We're dealing with heaven and the kingdom of heaven, okay? And I asked him, I said, uh, was Adam and Eve, I'm saying that according to his understanding, was Adam and Eve in heaven? I asked him like this. He was like, no, they wasn't in heaven. <laughs> oh, boy, man. He said they wasn't in heaven, man. I bust out laughing, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm laughing at it. Okay? Adam, Adam and Eve, which we know other people back then. Yeah. Okay? It was heaven, but what it is is they went off. Matter of fact, we don't get it. We don't get a... Uh, 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 I kicked him out of heaven. All right, we don't get it. Give me Revelation, right? The 22nd chapter. Okay? The 22nd chapter. And then give me... Uh, Give me uh, Genesis, the third chapter, right? Genesis, the third chapter, and go all the way to the bottom of it. When it's dealing with the tree of life. Uh, Which one you got? Life. All right. Now, we finna go to the tree of life, man. Over here. Yeah. Genesis 3, all the way at the bottom. We're dealing with, uh, Okay, we're gonna start up at uh, all right, we're gonna start up at 20. Start up at 20 and read all the way down. What you got over there? Uh, Revelation 22. Let me see what you got. Revelation 22. And uh, read what you got, because uh, okay, this is uh, Genesis chapter 3, verse 20. And Adam called his wife's name Eve because she was the mother of all living. Unto Adam also and to his wife did Yahweh Shimei Abishah power make coats of skins and clothe them. Okay, and, read it again for me, bro, Salaki. I'm sorry. This is uh, Genesis chapter 3, verse 20. And Adam called his wife's name Eve because she was the mother of all living unto Adam also and to his wife did Yahweh Shimei Bashah power make coats of skins and clothe them. Go ahead. And Yahweh Shimei Bashah power said, Behold, the man is become as one of us. All right. I need you to read it verbatim. So. Because you got lowercase and you got capital. So I need you to read it verbatim. Okay? Go ahead. This is Genesis 3 and 22. And the Lord, Lord God said. Okay. When it said Lord God there, that meaning Yahweh and his, his uh, angels, which are the judges. Okay? Go ahead. So that word there is uh, Yahweh Alahayim. Okay? That's how you say it in the Hebrew. Lord God is Yahweh Allah Go ahead. 
Yeah. Uh, and judge. Oh, yeah. Said, behold, the man has become as one of us. So, by his eyes being open, now he knows good from bad because of what Eve had done. Now he knows good, good and bad, and now he has sinned because all he knew was good. Okay? And he had a relationship with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? With the, with the angels and the judges. He had a relationship. So all he knew was he was perfect. He was good. Okay? Go ahead. To know good and evil. So now he know both of them. Okay? Because he didn't sin. He didn't want all. Listening to Eve. So now he know both of them. And evil listened to the serpent, which was a man. Okay? Go ahead. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life. Lest he put forth his hand and also take of the tree of life. In other words, had that knowledge to where he can have good health and live forever. Okay? Go ahead. And eat and live forever. See? So, before... He went off, were well, they not in heaven? Because they were living it up. Everything yeah. was prosperous, everything was good. But what had happened was, he went off. Okay, that's what happened, he went off. But they was in heaven, okay? So that's why 